So, uh, we PB stars, welcome again in, uh, in Zwolle, in the Netherlands, uh, the Libreia. And uh, Nelson and me, we're gonna show you some, uh, some dishes we have here at this moment. Uh, we're starting with uh, a dish with uh, a little bit Dutch proud. Every, every component of the, the, the dish is from, is from Holland. Um, we have the oyster from, uh, from Zealand. I think this is the best oyster in the world. So just uh, open the flat oyster. The taste of that oyster is so beautiful. So uh, we're gonna put the oyster in the, in a shock freezer for uh, three four minutes. So the, the oyster should be uh, dry because after freezing we uh, gonna dip it in uh, goat cheese from from Holland also. So now we're gonna dip the oyster in uh, in uh, a Dutch goat goat cheese. It's a uh, Picobello, it's from uh, the south of the southern part of uh, Holland. We did the oyster in the shock freezer for three, four minutes. Lekker out here. It looks like a classic preparation chauffeur. Only once. There's only a, sh uh, a very small film of the of the cheese around it. So um, now we're going to remove the stick, the toothpick from uh, from the oyster, and we're going to remove the the muscle from the oyster. Maken. Yes. To the oyster in the almost in the center of the of the plate. Then we, we made some rocks of the same goat cheese. Uh, uh, the rocks we make with uh, a ni uh, liquid nitrogen. So just put it in uh, between a uh, towel, you can crush it. Yes, yeah. so uh, the rocks of the goat cheese, then we have some, um, yeah, it's a zure bomb. It's a specialty of uh, Amsterdam, Amsterdam sour. Uh, it's a sort of a jerkin, but then a big one. Seaweeds from Holland.
So this is the, this is the, yeah, the pure skin of uh, of the lemon. Um, one one uh, one box full of lemons is only one bottle. The powder of seaweed. Then a little bit uh, powder of the goat cheese. And this is a, 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 a sort of dressing of um, uh, seaweed. Also from the Netherlands. Okay, uh, then we have dried oyster. And a juice of uh, a jerkin, and a surabom, eh? <laughs> with the surabom, and uh, apple. And then we have the dish. Dutch pride. <coughs> Welcome to WBP Steps. Um, we're going to make a dish with oysters. Uh, flat oysters. Or the native oysters. Um, so here we have um, green. Plan of uh, horseradish. Then avocado, uh, so Hass avocado brunoise. Just season that. Smoked eel cream. Yep. The smoked eel cream. Oysters, so the native oysters. They're from Zealand, uh, so uh, south of Holland. Black pepper. Seed up with the the dashi shell. Garnishes or uh, cucumber. So um, small packets of uh, cucumber filled with a potato salad and um, tarragon vinegar. There you go. Then smoked eel cream, uh, smoked eel uh, pieces. Pass me the ice. Uh, here, this is a cucumber chutney. So in fact, it's a, a, a hot, uh, hot preparation, like pickles, with lily, but made with cucumbers, for plain cucumbers and verbena. These, these are all from uh, Zealand. We call it Roodhoorntjes weer. You really taste the sea into it. There you go. Smoothness, avocado cream.
mayo of uh, fresh urchin. There we go. To freshen it up, we have uh, raw shallots. Dressing is uh, sorrel, fresh sorrel, uh, juiced every hour. Before we serve it, we're going to scoop a, a canal of uh, avocado ice with curry. The native oyster, cucumber, horseradish, and avocado. Have a good meal. Hello, here I'm again. Now I'm gonna, uh, now I'm gonna make oyster with miso and citrus. Okay. I have a, I have a creme of oyster and miso. We top it off with powder of miso. Yeah. Then we have an emulsion of oyster. We put some points of the emulsion. And then we have some miso. Gel. Yes. And we have some citrus gel as well. Somebody go on the herbs on my dish. Some the nice for the nice fresh palate. The acidity. Very important. Then we have a pancake with some we have a nice pancake with spinach. We warm it a little bit up. Of course, we have miso vinaigrette. We drop some on the, on the Zeeland oyster. It's a flat, famous oyster from our region. It's, five, it's called Five Zero. Lekker zo in de miso, misschien nog even alsjeblieft. Ja. Oké. Put the spinach over here. Yeah, that's it. Then we have seagrass. Then now we do put some herbs on seagrass. It's a little bit salty. We have some young mustard salad. Then we have 
Flowers from Rucola. Where's the meat of the white powder? Hey, boys, this is my place. Fresh herbs. A few gold flowers. Then we eat flat oyster. Take on the pass, eh? Where was that? Hola. Yeah. Okay, we go first with eight and then six. Then we made some chips. The chips of oyster. Right. Yeah, the last fish. What? Last fish. Okay, we do eight cod fish and we do six yeah. cod, guys. Yeah. Only have the rest. They call it the coffee room. Yeah. Yeah. Some nice cabbage and cabbage. Cut it. So cabbage costume. And a nice muslin. A nice muslin of miso on top. Yeah. Yeah? We finish with the herbs again. Put on top. Can I have the pearls, guys? Oyster pearls? So, and I have some pearls of oyster and nitrogen. We put on. In the grade of miso. Then we have a, a flatbread with a cream of butter of oyster and a meringue of oyster. I will present you the oyster, miso, citrus. Bienvenue à WDP Stars, uh, Arnaud de la Pinette à Saint-Tropez, la vague d'or. Uh, voilà, je vous présente une recette sur l'huître de tabouriage, un triptyque de saveurs autour du printemps avec uh, ces fameuses huîtres de tabouriage qui sont en fait uh, de Méditerranée avec un système uh, électrique qui remonte les huîtres dans la journée, euh, aidé par une motorisation solaire pour créer le système des marées euh, identiques euh, à l'Atlantique. Voilà, donc euh, nous avons trois versions euh, 8. Nous allons avoir ici du numéro 4, la petite euh, au naturel avec euh, perles de citron, euh, des de pulpe de citron, feuilles de mélisse. Mais vraiment au naturel, ce sera la dernière que l'on prendra à la bouche. Euh, à côté, vous aurez celles qui sont donc avec une purée euh, de petits pois cuits avec un peu de mélisse et de citronnelle, recouvert d'une eau de mer, gélifiée et eau de huître, infusée à la mélisse, euh, des petites salicornias, des petits, petits pois, un peu de, de grains de caviar, euh, pas trop salé. Voilà. Et à côté, nous allons incorporer la plus grosse, la numéro 2, qui est chauffée avec petit pois, œuf de mulet fumé, mélisse, avec un bouillon de mélisse. Voilà. À côté, nous allons incorporer l'émission. Nous allons incorporer ici une autre huître, le jus de coquillage, infusé à la mélisse cardamone. Voilà. que nous allons mettre dans l'huître froide. Voilà. Voilà. Avec une émulsion d'huître chaude infusée à la mélisse cardamone. Voilà. La peau de petit pois séché pour 
pour amener du croustillant, du crispy. La fleur de petit pois que nous sommes allés chercher chez Yann. Pour accompagner ça, nous avons fait un pain de seigle aux algues de Méditerranée, accompagné d'une petite brioche avec un beurre fondu aux fenouil et algues. Voilà. Servi chaud. Voilà. Donc voilà une huître de tabourièche à la Val d'Or, euh, la région de la Pinette de la Saint-Tropez. Une déclinaison, un truc. Voilà. Et au plaisir de vous voir.